What's up guys, it's your girl Ginny with Ginny's HorseProductReview.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and go check out my website for more horse product reviews. I'm filming outside today because it is a gorgeous day in Idaho. The birds are chirping, the whistle pigs are whistling, and I'm out here filming what's in my equine first aid kit for you guys. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll show you what my equine first aid kit looks like. It's like a three drawer, um, Rubbermaid tub style organization thing. And I also have like overflow in another bucket and tub. So I like pause and get that stuff out um, when I go through all this junk. Um, but I try to have it as organized as possible. I know that that's not always realistic for horse people like me, especially if you're like organization detail oriented challenged. So um, I'll go ahead and get into what's going on in my equine first aid kit. In the bottom drawer, I have a ton of like um, wound care stuff, dressings, things like that. I have this mini wound care kit. I think my mom gave it to me. It's like a stocking stuffer. It's got just like little dressings, um, alcohol wipes, antibiotic, cream, tape, stuff like that. Um, I have this little sample of Equiderm that I got thrown into something. It's like a little little wound ointment I have actually bought I'm really excited I know these are in the top drawer but I got um, sparkly sparkly vet wrap I don't know if you can see if it's kind of kind of glittery I have pink and blue really sparkly and purple Glittery vet wrap style. Vet wrap? I don't think it's a vet wrap brand. It's actually Powerflex. So, okay, another thing that every equine first aid kit needs are a ton of baby diapers. Um, if you've ever dealt with an abscess, you gotta have these. Um, duct tape, which I'm out of. Well, I have like a really small amount left, so I need to get that. But you need duct tape duct tap. You need duct tape and baby diapers. Um, for hoof abscesses, I've also used this Animal Lintex hoof poultice pads before. They're pretty handy. Um, you can just like, they're cut like hoof shaped and you can just stick them on your horse's foot, wrap that up with a baby diaper, duct tape it and go. I have polo wraps, um, alcohol swabs, Wonder Dust, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I do use occasionally. It's not my favorite thing. Um, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret because this is one of my favorite cheap, like horse equine hacks, and it's a maxi pad. You can just get cheap ones at you know your grocery store, or Walmart. They're really good because they're clean. They're meant to stop bleeding or soak up blood. So if you need to clean a wound or you know stick something clean on there uh, maxi pads are a really good cheap option okay I'm just gonna take the drawer out for this next drawer I have a ton of leftover prescription medication like butte Eye meds left over, banamine, ace promazine, it's a tranquilizer. Um, I think that's all of my leftover prescription stuff. And a note on those things if you have to use prescription um, level medication, you need to be talking to your vet about it. I know we all get like leftover stuff um, from various injuries or whatever's going on with our horse. But if you need to use it, you need to call your vet first. I know a ton of people who want to just like immediately put banamine on a horse that, that looks colicky. But call your vet first, open that line of communication. And if they say go for it, go for it. If not, you don't want to make something worse or endanger your horse's health or safety or life. So that's my quick note on that. I also have um, stethoscopes, 
I have a thermometer, don't get mad. It's not an equine thermometer, but I'm not going to um, just stick it in my horse and leave it there. Um, a note for any new horse people, um, you wanna go get an equine thermometer that has a string and a clip attached um, so that it does not get lost inside of your horse. Um, for those of us who are, who are experienced or we've been around the block, um, just don't let go of your thermometer. <laughs> if you're taking your horse's temperature, that's a really quick one. It's like a 60 second one. So um, that's what I've been using. It's really important for you to know how to take your horse's vitals. So if you don't know how to do that, um, I recommend asking your vet or finding a tutorial and practicing and um, learning how to take your horse's vitals so that you can have as much information about your horse's um, health and well-being as possible, especially in an emergency. You want to know what the baselines are and you want to know what's abnormal and what could be dangerous for your horse. Okay, so I also have like a leftover ulcer guard that I've used for shipping before, like um, prep for cross country trips. I've moved horses from Colorado to Texas, Texas to North Carolina, North Carolina to Idaho, Florida to North Carolina. Um, so I, I like to usually do, um, if it's, if I think it's gonna be a stressful trip for the horse, like a course of ulcer guard a couple days before, during and after, I think that really helps them to be comfortable. Um, I also have uh, clear eyes in here. If you guys ever have horses with eye problems, that stuff is great. Um, I have a tube of electrolytes. Uh, I also have some powdered electrolytes, a note on electrolytes. All right, my dog's talking to the dogs next door. If you um, don't know a lot about using electrolytes, don't just willy-nilly throw them at your horse, do your research. Um, never give electrolytes to a really dehydrated horse. Um, your horse needs to be drinking water if they're taking electrolytes. So read up on that, um, ask your vet, do your research. I have a ton of like various sized syringes and tubes and um, all that kind of stuff. Um, a weight and height measuring tape. I have this little, I think it's like a liniment. I got it as a free sample. I actually haven't even used it. Natural release muscle wash with magnesium oil, arnica, and eucalyptus. I should probably use that. I have this vet set. It's like um, a little ointment in this tiny little tub. It's made with cocoa butter and vitamin E. I actually really like it. it smells really good. Um, for little wounds or dry spots, galls, anything like that. I have an extra hoof pick, just like a little crappy one. Tomorrow dry cow, which I have used on uh, thrush before. It's not my favorite thing. I will tell you what my favorite thrush remedy is, um, but we haven't gotten to that yet. Uh, very important. Uh, ingredient for anybody's first aid kit, I think, is grandma's molasses or literally any brand. If you have a horse that is picky or you have to give like anything gross to them, you can mix it with molasses. If you're worried about sugar, just water it down. When I give banamine orally, I usually chase it with a syringe of molasses water or before so they know that it's not always going to be really disgusting. If you've ever smelled banamine, it smells like formaldehyde. It's so gross. I can't imagine what it tastes like. So I like to have that in my first aid kit because, you know, it's the old adage, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Same type of deal. All right, guys, top drawer here. Okay, um, more like syringes and needles and stuff. I'll actually put that in the second drawer. I have a ton of like um, rubber gloves because you never know how gross whatever it is that you're going to be dealing with is. So these really come in handy. Um, and especially if you don't want certain medicines on your hand and on that. So I do keep DMSO in my equine first aid kit. It's really effective for reducing swelling but it kind of scares me. I don't like touching it. Um, I wear rubber gloves, even though this is the one with the roll-on applicator, I'm like double scared of it. Um, be very careful if you're using this. It will take 
anything on your hands, like fly spray, anything, any kind of chemicals through your skin. And it does, I think it crosses the blood brain barrier. So you definitely want to be really, really careful when you use this. Um, I use it occasionally if I have some puffy swelling thing going on. But again, use caution. I keep mine in a little Ziploc bag as not to contaminate anything else. Um, a and D ointment, it's pretty good stuff. I have actually a bunch of human things in the top drawer, band-aids, um, hand sanitizer, foot powder. Okay, I have um, Body Glide, which is really good if you are going on a long trail ride or you're having any kind of like chafing. Um, this stuff works, um, kind of like a stick of deodorant. Just put it on. I've actually used it on my horses too. Um, if, you, if you're worried about girth galls or any kind of rubs, stuff is pretty effective. I have some bug spray, sunblock, toilet paper, um, blister care things, wipes. You, you wanna be able to take care of yourself too while you're out there. And for anybody that's seen my video on the best way to get your horse to take butte, um, you know, I love squeezy buns. They're really good at hiding pills. All right, guys, I just had to take a little break because um, my neighbor was driving his tractor around and it set the dogs next door off. So um, I'll go ahead and get to the rest of my stuff, which I just had like in a bucket because it's too big to go in here. Um, but it's still stuff that I like to use. Um, first of all, one of my favorite things is Sorno More Poultice. Um, which is really great after a long ride and you don't have to wrap the legs with this poultice. You can just slather it on. It's um, clay based. It has arnica in it. Um, really good. I love uh, poulticing my older horse's legs after a long trail ride. It makes me feel better. I think it makes him feel better. Um, of course, SWAT. Perfect for little cuts, scrapes, keeping the flies out of there. I like the hot pink stuff but that's just me, you can get the clear. Betadine for cleaning wounds. Uh, Corona ointment, I like it, it's got lanolin in it. I'm a fan of Corona products. I have uh, various forms of liniment for um, after tough rides. I like to do um, like a liniment massage or um, you know, just, I think it makes them feel better after a long ride. I really like fungal way if you have like rain rot, scratches, or anything like that. It's been really effective. And along those same lines, this is just head and shoulder shampoo. It's generic. And I like to um, bathe with this if you have any kind of funk going on um, in the springtime or any anything that's going on. Oh, there's my dog. <laughs> there's Scout. My number one most essential uh, most important item in my equine first aid kit and drum roll please it's actually been sitting here for a little while it is desitin diaper rash cream of course this is the generic because I like to um, keep it on the budget so um, make sure that you get the extra strength which is usually the purple you can use this on literally anything um, okay not not literally anything but you know, use your, use your judgment. I use it on thrush, um, knocks out thrush better than the dry cow, better than thrush buster, better than copper tox, um, better than any of the, or like a bleach solution. People have told me use bleach solution before. And the nice thing about the diaper rash cream is it's gentle enough for a baby's bottom. I don't feel bad about using this. Um, perfect for any kind of funk if you've got um, scratches, canning crud, rain rot, thrush. Clean it, dry it, put this on. If you have thrush, clean out your horse's hoof, um, squirt it right into the central sulcus there. It, um, it's antifungal, I'm pretty sure, and also it creates like a moisture barrier and it soothes. If your horse has a gall or anything painful or raw, like this will soothe it and immediately make it feel better. Uh, one of my horses hates the smell though, and he like won't even take a treat for me if he can smell this on my hands, but it's still 
my number one favorite item in my equine first aid kit. I can't live without it. Um, it's usually just in my tack box um, because I'll, I'll like put it in their hooves, you know, once a week if it's really wet um, as a preventative thing or once a month. If your horse has really unhealthy, um, like really, really deep, gross central sulcuses daily, clean it out, squirt it in, you'll see an improvement. I am not kidding. All right, guys, that about does it for um, my equine first aid kit. If you think I missed something, if you have an essential must have item in your equine first aid kit, let me know what that is. Comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more equine product reviews. I'm about to head to the barn because it's a beautiful day and I will check in with you guys later. Happy trails.